Yeah, big big welcome to you my dear Virgo and of course a big welcome to all the other zodiac signs that felt like looking into this reading because today the full moon that we all feel can shift quite the energy in us because a full moon means this moon, this feminine energy is pushing us to come out of the water and interesting enough the sun is in the moon in Pisces and Pisces is connected with the moon and so the sun in the moon is 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 meaning that the sun is looking into the moon and it's saying let's look deep within and the moon is in your sign so the story here is quite intense because you are looking at the star and the sun is a star so the sun in the moon and the moon in your sign and you are looking for the star which is the sun in the moon yeah meaning this reading is intense or maybe there's a revelation coming to you and it's very interesting because I did the German reading already and two cards came up actually three are the same and then I can see okay there is a story again and again told from a different angle but in the core the story is there and that this is the story the sun and the moon and the star so the star of course here in your lantern you up in the mountain again and here we come out of the water and these are opposite of each other so if Virgo can understand Pisces and if Pisces can understand Virgo a wonderful energy a wonderful relationship can happen and that's what we're looking for we're looking for a match that isn't a match you're looking for someone that is fulfilling certain things but also that we can still grow and this is what usually can then become quite a harmonious relationship if both are quite aware and if both have worked on themselves here this is a fixed sign and you are a mutable sign so the shift is a little bit different that you can adapt yourself this one is fixed um, but here we look for the existence we look for the divine love that makes us come out of the waters past these towers up to the moon and the evolution wolf into dog and up and you of course the physicalness standing up on the mountain coming out of the fool standing now for all the others that come and highlight the path to them and is standing there strong powerful and saying i am here for you the yoga position here of course is fish pose jumping out of the moon then i made down dog for the wolf and up dog for the dog that has evolved and looking out into um, uh, the higher consciousness looking out into the universe evolving wanting to evolve past these two towers and for you I did mountain pose with namaste the prayer up in the mountains and the cosmic egg around you with the symbol of Mercur which is your planet and here the path that you already have taken and the path that you still will take and here the conversation that you have with yourself within you this connection between the wand and the light both masculine energy but you're standing on the earth which is then the feminine the court card that is connected to Virgo is the knight of pentacles if your birthday is between August 13 and September 11 this is your court card in my reading I am a Virgo like you and 
of course, I am having my birthday a little later, so I am a queen of swords. And interesting enough, I'm looking back here, what's happened behind you, and there is behind you the queen of swords. Further came through the uh, Medicine Woman Tarot, the page or the um, child or the, yeah, the child of sorts, the star, which is what you're holding in your lantern, the star, so the number 17 is speaking to you, the full moon here in Europe or in Germany was at 8.17, 8, 8, um, portal, so here you already have a 17 and the number 8 coming up. And further in the reading, I'm going to put you down. Further in the reading came then, these they all came all at once because usually I only take two, or I shuffle three times and whatever comes out I take and this is what came out into the past looking. So the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, Aquarius, the Age of Aquarius, the Vision, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Cups. So this story is behind you. This story is telling of that you searched clearly inside for the star you are who holds the lantern, are looking for the star and it created a big transformation and the Ace of Cups, which is then uh, a love in your love, in the way you see love, and in the way you offer love, is behind you. You have become a vision, if I'm reading forward now, love, and before that, then, I got Alistair Crawley, which is this card that came up, which is the Two of Pentacles. And so there was a realization in the duality, in the male and female connection here with the snake. And this is uh, Jupiter and Capricorn. And so you are uh, realizing something very profound. And that realization or that change there you realize there's always change and change has brought you a new perspective into the love and that made you realize that you all you're looking for is actually yourself here in this lake in this deep going deep within through the moon that's looking deep into the subconscious and the the divine love that Pisces also brings made you look at yourself and made you realize all I need is myself. I don't need a relationship that maybe is not fulfilling you, but you have yourself. And the hope that is coming up here as the star and this clear error that goes into the star, this clear work that you have done since your childhood, looking for this star, you cannot help it. It's in your destiny in this life to find hope, to find always the best around you. And you do the work, you do that spiritual work. You do look up and you do say, I am a liberator for a new world. I am the one that is summoning the new world. I am bringing down the star. I'm holding the star. So it's very clear that this full moon is actually bringing out of you something quite strong, that you know that the search for the light, the search for meaning in life is your path. Then to the future came this card. Now what's really interesting, as you can see, she's green. And when you look at this card, the child here is dressed green. So this focusedness that you had since your childhood, you learned that because of the 
sword energy. Maybe you are uh, in the uh, court card more a queen of swords, but you are now as a knight of pentacles being also invited to become quite focused with the way you think, with the way you focus on the highest. And that is giving me, you go forward with that focus that you learned in your childhood. You learned to focus. You learned to focus and became a queen. And now you are learning to work that forward into this card, which is called Pitch. Be as clear, concise, and professional as you can be when you explain your ideas to potential associates. The number five. And five is the fifth zodiac sign, Leo. Five is the five fingers. Five is the five senses. So here you stand and you start realizing how important it is that you're prepared for what it is that you want to bring forward. How focused can you be? How, how clear can you get the information? How clear are you with that focus that is behind you? The star, the vision, the vision that you always had, a big vision. And that vision is came from a higher place, from a love, from the ace. And, of course, from a change that is constantly in us, around us, constantly things are changing, things are growing. Then came the nine of voices, which is then a realization sometimes even at night, that you have to understand how important it is that you bring this vision or this pitch forward and that you really focused on it, that you really learn strongly to hold that thought and don't let it make you go into a retreat, like pulling yourself back, knowing that you want what you want, you get it. So allow yourself to hold that one spark, hold that one thing in your hand, hold that one flower, hold that clear in you, hold that thought, hold that power that you learned and bring it up, up into the sun. And then comes the frog. Look at that. Then comes the emotion. And the more you emotionally clear with what you want, the more it then can come to you. So the frog is a water sign. Clearing, cleansing, healing. When in balance, clear energy and enthusiasm for life. The frog and the water element are almost inseparable. The frog spends its first month of life entirely within his this healing element and then emerges to rest on land. But no matter how earthly the frog becomes, its need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. Frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished, so it's vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care. This card serves as a reminder that water helps us cleanse, forgive, and release. Time to dive in. Frogs aren't meant to carry a heavy load. And that's what's talking through the nine. Allow then, when you feel overwhelmed by this pitch, 
by this what you want to bring into this world. When you feel overwhelmed, take a bath, take a shower, go in the water, because you tend to be earth, fire, and light, and space. So there's no water here. The only, there's also no water in your court card, because that's fire and earth. If you were queen, of swords you have as a queen water and air so water is important go dive deep down and again the green see the green the green the water the chlorophyll in the water is very important to you for you to not get overwhelmed with this idea then comes the growth cycle with the plants same way I have right now here, these um, branches that are starting to sprout in a few days. I think it will be stronger right now. They're a little empty, those blossoms. But look at this. You have now understood that everything grows in your head. Everything grows in the way you think. But then you also need to know how to act upon it and then came the king of wands and the chariot and the king of wands is a leo and the chariot is a cancer so he acts upon and he steers his third eye forward without any attachment to the horses. He does that with the third eye. And the Leo is standing here with his wand, strong and powerful. So just remember that the wand is also in your hand. You have the wand here in your left hand. So intuitive, you know how to take action, but it's coming upside down. And upside down in the shadow work means being overly ambitious, a need for compassion, egomania, being too assertive, explosive emotions, impatience. Okay, so that's that. And the chariot reverse. Is saying lack of energetic focus, lack of self-discipline, going in the wrong direction, a tendency to speed past the needs of others. Okay, so something is Coming up, something is mm, sometimes blocking you, sometimes, right, it's maybe too much for you. And then comes the queen bee who's standing here and saying, well, unite. Unite the need to act upon, unite the need to take action to take the right direction and to be careful how you do that. And she is this queen bee, the number 11, and this is the portal. And this is the portal that you need to find a balance from within, a balance that's not bringing you into a place of off, right? You want to have it like this. So the queen bee, remember that, the queen bee is strong, the queen bee stands tall, and then comes the three of wands, and that is taking action, that is going out, and that is in a group setting, in a triangle, finding your balance, finding your center, and knowing what needs to be done. Here it's two, and now it's three from two, two, three, because 11, if you count it together, which I don't, would be the two, two, and three. And then comes 
the hummingbird, the number six, the six of wands, which is then a uh, victory, is, is then you, if you work in a group setting, if you work with your tribe, you will have always that flower that guides you forward and brings you exactly where you need to go. It's very important that we listen to that. It's very important that we understand that. Then came these two, the Nine of Fire and the Five of Swords, which is then you as the number nine have really found that star within you, which is in this <laughs> lantern. You truly have found that star. Nevertheless, even though you went down from nine to five of thoughts, so here you have nine thoughts that are occupying you, and here you have five. The five is always, again, uh, a challenge, a challenge of how you bring this pitch forward, of how you present yourself. And I think the invitation is that you become light, that you become like this page light standing on one toe and like a ballerina, knowing that the inner connection, knowing that whatever is in within you, you have that, you don't need to fight for that, you don't need to defend that. Huh? And then came of the mystical healer, the standstill, and in the German reading this was exactly the same card. So I was like, wow, that's really um, interesting because that doesn't happen often. That the end card, number 52, which is then a seven, is the same card for this message on this full moon. The essence, when stand still appears, it is a symbol of pausing, the act of observation and breathing space. It represents the benefits of temporary non-action as well as what happens when one is stuck. The invitation. When things seem to stall or stagnate, or when you feel stuck, this symbol appears as a reminder that constant action isn't going to get you where you want to go. Perhaps it's time to gather more information or just wait until the universe makes the next move. No matter what, this moment is a beautiful gift orchestrated in your favor. Enjoy it. Let the universe bring all the parts together for the highest good. Go and play, recharge and take the focus of whatever has stalled. Life will get busy again for you sooner than you think. So yeah, I see that you are learning tremendously. You're learning to trust that you have learned everything that you needed to learn. You're learning that, first of all, everything is shifting, everything is changing from the light to the dark and from the dark to the light, this infinite snake that is speaking to you, the change that is constant, that is f sure. And then the, the Ace of Cups, watching that with love, doesn't matter if you're up in this circle or down in this circle. You always watch from above. You're looking down to these two dualities. In this one, in this ace, there are two people because they offer love to each other. So it's a very beautiful sign that these two came next to each other. And through that deep exchange, you got two major arcanas, the vision, a vision of the hanged man, a vision that you are, um, as a visionaire, uh, bringing reality into this world and that the vision is the path to the goal. And you have the hope, you have the star, you know you can get there. You know you have that star within you, no doubt. And then these two 
the childlike focus that you learned and you weren't really aware that you learned that but you did somehow learn it through sport and here you are now becoming this strong powerful queen of swords so both of them are here in this reading the queen of swords and the knight of um, pentacles which is the Virgo before and you also have really interesting the card before so look in the description below because I have all the court cards here we have Leo which is um, before the dates before the Virgo and then you have a Virgo and then you have a, a, a Libra this is very interesting it's very all three court cards here, here this is reversed but nevertheless you have all three court cards here in this and so this reading speaks to all three court cards look in the description for the birthday that you have and that you can see all three are here so it's actually very powerful that this is there and then the pitch this pitch know that you had this focus when you were a child and you did it playfully now you do it masterfully now you do it because you have become a queen of swords and you have become the hard-working uh, person that you are and you can bring that pitch forward don't be too concerned about but it's normal I sometimes don't sleep well um, when I have the next day something important I don't sleep so good so it's it's normal it's okay what can you do <laughs> go and take a shower take your mind off and emerge into the water and feel the water and allow the water to cleanse you then things can grow because as soon as the water comes down then things can grow new in your head you can move that energy forward and even yeah sometimes these things might get a little off might not be in the right direction the only way to change that is through the queen bee she's saying look forward don't don't hold on to this too much sometimes this is needed for us to realize we're on the wrong path and we need to go then and change and go to the to the right path and that's when you know that you can move forward she also both look forward you go from two to three the three of wands actually then making things happen really putting your energy in there and knowing that you will be successful knowing that you have the third eye knowing you have the hummingbird knowing that you have that clear uh six of wands the victory within you because you holding the fruit you holding that idea and then you know that you have found the star you have the star in your lantern and that you become light sometimes that when this is happening just dance maybe dance right dance or go in the water make yourself light don't make yourself heavy and then stand still like she is standing still for a moment here suspended in the air like a bird herself but there is a very thin thin line here and this thin line is holding you and the thread you see that it is going over here there's lines here as well it's very interesting and in this standstill you know how things are constantly moving and changing and shifting and that it is good that it's changing and moving and shifting right like here the two the 11 the queen bee the two the duality you have two two portal you have a nine nine portal and i think that's it yeah and you have a three three portal 
right? The three of wands and the vision uh, counted together. The number 12 is a, th a three. Three, three, two, two, three, three, and nine, nine portal. Become light, go within, see in this full moon what is your responsibility, what is yours, what is your vision for this idea, for this focusedness, for this um, future. How can it hold in this future? How can it grow in this future? Number 10. How can it grow? How can it be sustainable? How can it inspire others? So we have here another seven portal. Seven, seven. If you feel like you're in the wrong direction, meditate. That's when you know how to turn it around. And sometimes we need to go in the wrong direction, right? Because that's when we know we went into the wrong direction. And that's all there is to a reverse card like that. Wow. So I hope I see you in the next reading because that's when the sun goes into Aries. You don't have an Aries energy. Yes, you do. <laughs> the three of wands, which is sun in Aries. So you have already a message that it's working. What the idea that you want to bring forward is working. And the sun in Aries is already speaking to you, is already here. So I hope I see you then. And I wish you a beautiful uh, full moon meditation. Until then, I thank you so much for being with me. Namaste.